American Truck Simulator comes out tomorrow, and if you want to fully enjoy the experience of space trucking along the west coast, you'll probably want to listen to your own music and radio stations on the in-cab radio. I'm going to go through and show you how to do it. For adding your own MP3s, you'll need to get up the American Truck Simulator folder that's in your documents, and open the Music folder. This will be empty if you've just installed the game. Copy any music you want to play here. Normally you can save the trouble of locating the files by going to your media player and dragging them from there. Most should support whole playlist copying and you'll need a whole bunch of tracks to last for the cross-state delivery routes. Unfortunately, GTA 5 this isn't and the in-game CD player has next to no features. Your tracks will play in the order you put them there without shuffling and always in the same order. If you play on gamepad you probably won't even have any free buttons to bind to skip track. You have to back right out of the game into the main menu and skip tracks from there. Because of this, it's better to find an internet radio station you enjoy and add that to the game, something that's basically the opposite of a simple experience. Back in the same American Truck Simulator folder, you'll find a file called livestreams.sii. This is what you'll have to edit to add your own radio stations. For this, you'll need a text editor such as Notepad++. The built-in Windows Notepad will work, but it makes an already tedious process more frustrating. Links for the free download will be in the description. When you open the live stream file, you'll see a list of streaming links you'll have to add on to. The tricky part is finding the direct streaming links for your radio stations. The normal links you would use to listen don't work, and all the truck sim games only support MP3, MSS, and direct IP links. To get these, I recommend using shoutcast.com and searching for the stations you listen to. Click the download option and select either of the two top options from the submenu. The site's missing several common stations, and seemingly all BBC ones, so for UK radio, radiofeeds.co.uk works the same way, except you click the 128k stereo button to download. This will download a playlist file, which unfortunately the game cannot read. Open up this file in Notepad and copy the link. This is what you'll want to add to the live stream list. Change the top stream data line to one more than your new number of streams and paste your link in between the bottom stream data entry and the curled bracket below it. Copy the prefix from the line above, making sure to update the stream number, and then copy the suffix and place it after your new entry. You can now update the info that will be shown in game, separated by the straight lines. These are station name, music genre, bitrate and favourite. Leave the last field set as zero, you can favourite and organise the list easier in game. Now save the file, and you're done. You have to do this with every station you might want to add, so I'll include a download of the file with my radio stations already added, though they might not be to your taste. If you boot up the game, you can now find the new station of music added into the radio and ready for you to listen to. Tune in from the pause menu and you can feel free to enjoy the Mad Max concept album as you deliver toilets across the state.